song of new light, life beyond the stars. Sing the song of new light, music travels so far. Sing the song of a new world, a world without the fear. Sing the song of freedom, spirit will come so near. Voice a song of new life, a world of compassion and love. Shout the song of God's light, illuminate the truth above. As I begin the evening, I have to say, um, I was sitting earlier meditating a, a bit, and I was aware of the presence, I have to say, of, of a woman that I felt was almost in dementia for maybe seven, eight years. Um, so you would have had to have taken care of this woman for a long time, because there's almost apologies about this that she starts to draw near to me, I have to say. And she's only a little bitty thing, because there's a shortness with her, um, as she starts to draw near to me. And she kept talking about her daughter, she just wanted to thank her daughter. Um, she had either brothers or boys, and she was a very nervous little woman, I have to say, um, as she was drawn close. And she talked about someone called Harry or Helen, so in the family that name should be significant. And you should have either a wall clock or a cuckoo clock, or there's a clock that's significant. Mm -hmm. So if this belongs to you, you would have to have all that stuff. So we can take a good part of that. Anyone else besides the one hand? Possibly? Okay, so what can you take? Oh, come on. Okay. So. Well, this is Harry, and that's my husband. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> clock. My mother was a very nervous little woman. Was she out of it for a while? Did yes, you she had Alzheimer's. Care? Yes, about seven, eight years. Oh, wow. Okay. And you were here? Um, Helen was my grandmother. Okay. And she had Alzheimer's for seven years. My mom took care of her. Okay. But you took care of your mom, right? Yeah. Well, kind of. She was okay. in a nursing home, but okay. we did for a while. And did you have your hand up here, too? Yeah, my uh me and my mother took care of my great grandma for seven or eight years. She had Alzheimer's. And what about the Helen or the Harry? Um, not that, but she did have all boys and the cuckoo clock we had of her in my house. Oh, okay. So let me go on a little bit more, I have to say. You would have to have a dog that looks like a mutt to me, I have to say. Because there's a dog that's coming around. So I don't know if this was her dog or your dog, but there's definitely a dog that comes up with this that I need to acknowledge as well. Um, but she was tough, though. I have to say, before she was sick, there's a strength about her, so I do need to say that. Mm -hmm. I do feel pulled over to you, I have to say. Me? Um, yes, I do need to well, say that. Well, my mother wasn't exactly tough. But you are, I have to say. So, do you <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have to say, I don't know them well, but they do come here. So, I, I do have to say, we've seen you in this audience before. And you are a very strong woman. So, But I just feel the energy being pulled over to you. So I do need to say that to you um, as I continue. But she seems almost apologetic, I have to say. Because I don't know if she didn't know you or I didn't know if that was really hard on you, but this apology just keeps coming with that. And would you have understood the clock thing? Well, she had a cuckoo clock. Okay. And she that's cuckoo cool besides. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great, I have to say. It's definitely just being talked about <laughs> as a thing in the evening. Um, I don't feel, if, if I go back in the family, did someone else drink a bit? Because she's bringing a gentleman into the demonstration with her who either liked a bar, hang out at a pub, but there's something to do here where I want a connection with a bar. And if it's not to do with you, it might be with your husband's side of the family. It could be my brother-in-law. Okay. Because there's definitely the like of a little liquor here. Um, so I do need to say that in that way. And I don't know you to be Polish or German, but it, where are there Polish or German connections? Mm. Ukrainian. If not Italian, Italian, but I want the Bushka. <laughs> yes. Okay, no, I mean, go ahead. No, no. Oh, Either your grandmother or his grandmother, I've got a picture here that they're showing me where I want, like, a scarf. So, in Polish, it's Babushka. What's it in Italian? Babushka. <laughs> and this lady was chubbier than your mom. So, I do need to say there's a stockier woman they pull in. That your mom's showing me, I have to say, this picture with the house. Well, his mother was chubby. Perfect, I have to say. So, and she's passed over as well? Yeah. Okay. So, hello from your mom as well as I just uh, start the link. I do have to say, I know you've lost a daughter. That's not who started this communication. 
But I have to be honest and say, I do. I am aware you've lost your daughter, I have to say, um, who steps in behind your mom. But I do need to say there's connections here with either a birthday or an anniversary that's just around here or passing. So I don't know if that's to do with your mom, but I do have to say I want to be with her. birthday just passed the 17th of April. Perfect. Because she's talking about something significant right around now. Mm -hmm. So I do need to say it in the way she wants to bring it to me, I have to say. Um, and, and they do want you to know that they are together on the other side. So I know there's things going on in your life. I have to say they're just drawn near to let you know they are near, I have to say. And I'm not sure if you've planted a tree in honor of your daughter or if you've got a something in a garden. A garden. Thank you. Because there's something they want to go sit in a garden with. So I know I need to acknowledge that because it's definitely talked about. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if your daughter danced when she was younger. Yes. Um, but there's something for you to really know. She. She's all better, I have to say. So just please know that strength is there as I go around it. Um, have, have you either been talking about painting or rearranging a room at home or something? Well, right now we have a big hole in my ceiling because something was leaking. Perfect. So well, there's something that needs work here. Almost like, I, I almost thought something had to be taken down. So if it's, yes. it needs to be taken down to fix it, yes. it's just their way of sitting in the living room with you, I have to say. Yes. So they are there every day with you, so I do need to say it to you in the way it's being shown as well. And they keep wanting to go to, I don't know anything, or uh, I've never been to Yonkers. I have to say. But why do I want to go across the bridge? Is the Yonkers near the Bronx or Brooklyn? Yes. Yes. Why do I want to go over that way? Well, his cousin lives near Yonkers and I'll be seeing him tomorrow. Perfect. They <laughs> have <laughs> They hear you just as good as they hear me. I do have a little angel coin in this note up here um, from your mom. I, I do have to say that. So as I was sitting earlier, they just uh, had to be sure bring this to her. Just a little angel coin. Um, and I didn't know this was going to end up with you, I have to say, because I just started with this one. Great. I'm, having, I'm having my surgery tomorrow, so I can use that. Well, that was definitely meant to be. That's a little angel coin, I have to say. So. Um, I'm glad that worked out the way it worked out. So many blessings there. I need to talk about a younger gentleman, so God bless him. Um, we'll keep you in our prayers as well. I'm sorry? We'll keep you in our prayers as Thank well. So God bless. Um, I have a younger gentleman, I have to say. Um, I feel there was drugs involved here, but I almost feel like I'm on steroids. Um, so. Um, it's definitely an upper drug, I have to say. I used to work in a detox, so I know the drugs, so I do need to say that in that way. So I've got a younger kid that dies tragically, maybe 24-ish. I feel like there's either amphetamines or steroids here at one point, um, so I do need to say that. Um, he does die, unfortunately, tragically, but there might have been some discussion of his heart here. Maybe 28, I have to say. Um, but this discussion of conditions to do around my heart with this as well as I uh, begin to talk to him um, as he draws closer. I've got to go back a couple of years. I don't feel this is at least two years back, I have to say, um, as I go around this. And there was something to do here with a, um, if this belongs to you, there's something he's talking about with a prize car, I have to say. So um, I don't know if he just learned to drive. I don't know if someone just bought him a car. Um, but I know there's drug addiction here, and I definitely know this. And this is a sweet kid. There's no doubt um, to me. Um, he's, he's not you know, someone that steals to feed his addiction. This is a, a, a good, big kid that went to school and just unfortunately got involved with drugs. Um, would anyone understand any of this so far? What can you take over there? I think I'm going to OK. Not is sure it son or cousin? Son. Okay. I'm not sure about the car. I have an angina. So. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> something about a car. So I don't know if you just got a car. If there was something when he passed. There was something about a prized car. Even oh. there, someone else in the family like worked on well, cars. He, his first car was a 1973 Volkswagen thing that we still have. Okay. Yeah, which is kind of an odd car. Yeah, I would say so, I have to say. There's just something to do with that. Would you understand some sort of, I felt almost like speed in my system for a lot of reasons. Um, it was heroin and cocaine. Okay, cocaine will feel like an upper to me, so I do have to say that. Uh -huh. 
just the way it's shown. But I felt this nervousness with this energy there, I have to say. I don't know if someone wrote a poem or if he used to write. He, yeah, he wrote poetry. Okay, because he showed me writing, I have to say, so it's important for me to bring that up. So I feel comfortable with you as that connecting piece is definitely there. I don't know if that's his father, I have to say, but there's something to do with a hat of his, I have to say, so I don't know if you have his hat. Um, or a baseball cap of his, but he just put a hat in my hand that I need to acknowledge, I have to say. He brought it. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> That's fantastic, I have to say. So please know your son is here. There's no doubt about it, I have to say. But this was a good kid that just got involved with bad stuff. I don't know if he was dating a girl or if there's a, a daughter, but there's a girl he's making reference to who is a very strong personality. Would you understand that? Or it could have been a bad influence even. Um, we may need to air Patty. I don't know. I think so. He's 72, I think. Okay. Yeah, the next very important. This is cool, right? Because there's a girl he's referencing. It's a Yeah, there it goes. So I do need to say that. He's talking about someone called Chris or Rich. I'm dyslexic with that name. I don't know if it's a friend of his, but I do need to say that. And he also kept showing me saying, cool, right? Michael, I have to say. Yeah, okay. <coughs> there Catholics in your family. Why would he show me St. Michael? Something to do with a police officer? Or services. Say, Michael is the protector of people in uniform. No, she, she was in the army. Okay. And he loved her? He did very much. Okay. I do have to say that's what that's about. So I'm, I'm sure he's still watching out for her. Um, so there's no doubt about that as I go around that. And I don't know if you used to have a pool or if you used to live by the shore, but he keeps taking me to wonderful memories somewhere by the water here, I have to say. And I've got to go back to when he's younger, so I don't know if there's a lake house somewhere he used to go to, but he's definitely bringing up when there were really good memories, and I do need to say that to you later, Michelle. Was there a delay in you finding out when he passed? <clears throat> no, I, I, I was not home. Something was held up at the end, so I don't know if you waited to have a service, but something seemed to be held up to me at the end. And I just need to acknowledge it in the way he's saying it to me, in the way it was brought. Um, I don't know if the service was held up, I don't know if you had a second service, but he keeps talking about if someone could get to the service, but he keeps talking about somebody being held up around the service time. Not held up like Rob, just like with the lady that I say. So I just need to acknowledge it the way he was going around that as well. Um, and there's something to do with, I know the hat's there, but he's talking either, I don't know if there's a gold chain of pins or if you had something made, but he wants to touch something here on my neck, so I don't know. If there's something of his that's still here, um, but I've just got to bring it up in the way he, he goes close to it. Um, he just seems determined to say hello to you, I have to say. I'm going to keep moving so I can get to a couple of people. Um, but please know he's with you, and please know he's at peace, and this is a good kid, I have to say. Um, he must have been very personable or likable, I have to say, because it's almost like a Labrador Retriever feeling to me, I have to say. <laughs> I just need to say that because his personable side to him, so I do need to bring that up to you. Um, and just know he is at peace in it. Like I said before, um, when you talk to him, Peter is you just as good as he is. I just hear him back about it. But he's close with both of you, and I know he's okay on the other side. There is with him in the spiritual realms a gentleman, another gentleman that died kind of quickly from a heart attack or something sudden. <coughs> okay. They have met up over there, so he shows me with them as a man that dies quick heart attack. So if your dad was one that way, that would be fine. Uh, this is definitely talking about the things as well. So please take a look at those letters there. As I was saying earlier as well, I have to say, I got the uh, presence of a gentleman. I heard Anthony or Tony, but I have to say it's like a third generation um, Anthony or Tony. So I do have to say, um, if this belongs to you, there has to be like um, other Tonys in the family. There's no doubt about it. There's definitely Catholics in the family. And he was talking earlier about if you knew this, um, somewhere on your property or in the backyard there was either a trailer or a tractor that just sat there for a long, long time. I don't know why he showed me that, but that seems to be dis uh, a distinguishing thing to know. I do feel he lived from a heart attack, um, and I don't feel you live, uh, you live close to him when that happens. So he dies from a heart attack, and you don't live nearby when he passes. 
you definitely weren't there at the end. Um, and somewhere in the family, and I hate this, I did this once. I, I used to go out to do home parties, I have to say. One night I arrived at this house and they put me in a room that had all the hatch animals that I had shot. So I was like, where did the eyes look at me the whole night? I'm so coming up down. I have to say, so you, I have to say, everything that was all around me, I was sitting in the room, so I didn't make a move about it that night too. But someone in the family definitely had some of those. So I'm not saying he was a hunter, but someone definitely had a um, deer head to have to say. Things you would be done, I guess, whatever that's supposed to be. That's a journey. So, who could do this? Jen, when the dice from a heart attack feels like a father figure, there's an Anthony or a Tony somewhere in the family that's definitely acknowledged, I have to say, and something to do with where there would have been some sort of construction stuff. What can you take back there? I can take everything except, um, okay, my brother is Tony, yeah. but there were not several Tonys, but he was third generation American. Let's see, what else do you think? Uh, that she talked about the trailer and the bag. Uh, I'm sorry? Did, did your dad pass? Yes. Okay, was there a heart attack? Yes. And you weren't there at the end? No. No, I was adopted, so I didn't know him. I, I, they found me afterwards. I, don't, I can't follow that. <laughs> I was, he was my birth father. I was adopted. His oh, family yeah. found me afterwards, so I know the family now, but I didn't know him growing up, so I was very far. But you would know all this information? Yes. Well, I know the family now. They and what about him. the hunting thing? Uh, I, he was, he, yeah, actually, he was a sportsman. I don't know about the tax attorney, <laughs> but I do know he did a lot of hunting and fishing. Okay. Because there's just something significant about that. And there's got to be connections to, oh, can you take it as well? What can you take? No, so they're telling me, yes, my father died of a heart attack. He was a hunter. Uh, and we did have deer heads and things hanging in our home. We even had lamps made out of deer legs. How old are Anthony? My nephew, my nephew was Anthony. I don't know if that he's not third generation Anthony, but he was my nephew was Anthony. And there was in fact a trailer park in our backyard. Yeah, what about the trailer thing? Um, he was a mobile home salesman when I was young. And are there Catholics in your family? Oh, there's yes. definitely Catholics. <laughs> uh, definitely over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The Lutherans are definitely separated. Yeah. There's definitely Catholic ties over here. Ferguson is like a logo, and it's 
It's green lettering. Yeah, I, really I see them everywhere. I think it might be plumbing or something like that. Any plumbers in the gym? No. Do you have plumbing issues at home? No. <laughs>
plants, you know, big plants, that I would say. Um, because so many, I want to be tying up these plants to show me. And I think they love doing that, so it's important for me to say that to you. Um, but they do want you to know they are together over there, I have to say. It's, it's, is your mom still alive, I ask? Is she kind of stubborn? Okay, or a handful. Because um, she's talking about your mom, and I believe she's a handful, or it could be quite stubborn. So, good luck and God bless with that. <laughs> I've got a male who dies tragically, so I don't know if this is a car accident or if he falls off a building, but I've got an impact death or he was shot. Um, but my next communicator dies tragically, the name of Frank or Francis must be somewhere around here. He did not live a full life at the oldest, he's 40. <coughs> it could have even been a work accident, I have to say, but I know there's trauma in my body as I go around this stuff as well. And someone has a, or had a motorcycle, because I've got biker pants now. <laughs> Shame on a wallet. I have to say, like, biker pants, that's all. But they have biker pants, so who can take part of this? It's got to be someone has a motorcycle or did have a motorcycle. The main communicator dies tragically, I have to say. There's no doubt about it. Um, so something very fast, no goodbyes as I go around this. I don't know if this is family friend or an uncle. I don't feel it's someone's dad. I do feel it's a little bit removed. It's here for someone, so we can take part of this. Motorcycle. What about the rest of it? Oh, he died. He died in a motorcycle accident. Who? My brother. Get out of here. No. Yeah. I'm staying. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have boxes of old stuff from your parents? Do you have um, 
cardboard boxes of like old pictures or stuff that you didn't yes. take good care yes. of, yes. but it's kind of put away. I don't know if it's in the basement or the garage, yes. I have to say. It's not yeah. a place that's well kept, you know. Um, well, you know what I mean, you know. Yeah, stuff you want to keep, you keep in a good closet. But. I have my father's door up there. Okay, great. But they're just taking me to this old box where I think there's pictures as well, I have to say. So, but I know I want to be rummaging around that because your family definitely does come around that house. And they're talking about, who's George? His brother. Um, the one that passed? No. no. Another one? Yeah. yeah. Is he here? Yes. Okay. If he's in the living, then they're all trying to say hello to your other brother. So I don't need to put him in the spiritual realm since I'm alone to those who are still here. Um, so, and I'm sure they'd want to say hello to everybody, so I don't know why they're determined to get you people messages today, so. I guess please, my surgery tomorrow. Probably. probably, but just please take the look uh, that's there. I'm just going to get one more link before I hand over to our fabulous guests for the evening. Um, as I continue to connect with the other side, oh gosh. A gentleman who says that the doctor's really screwed up with him, I have to say. So as this gentleman starts to draw near to me, he had advanced cancer, he had seen the doctor, and they said he was fine, um, but he was already quite sick. Um, so wherever this lands, um, I don't know if this is someone's father or husband, I have to say, wherever this lands, um, you're really upset with the doctors because they screwed this up um, for a reason. Um, and he does talk about that in that way. He worked more of a manual job. I don't feel this is a man that uh, goes to an office in a suit. I feel something where um, it's more of a manual job. Um, so I do need to say that as he goes around it. Um, and he keeps talking about, at one point there would have been a two-family house. So um, there's two levels, definitely a two-family, like you would see in Clifton or Patterson. Huh. I don't know if he had COPD at the end, but I know I'm into respiratory distress as well. Would anyone understand this at all? Lung cancer, emphysema at the end. Are you thinking about this? What can you take there, man? Um, he died of cancer. He was over in France where he recognized that he was sick. He was living there and uh, came back. And he was in Jersey City Hospital and they sent him home. Um, he, was, he had a textile in the home. But he worked on the machines or something. Is his father to you or? My father. Okay. At what part would someone have not liked the doctors? Because there's definitely talk about not liking the doctors. <coughs> the problem was he was married to another woman at that point, not my mother. Okay. So I wasn't that close to hear those. Okay. And I moved out. There's something say, about not liking the doctors, so I do have to say that to you yes. in the way it's shown. Are you putting your hand up over here too? Yeah. What can you take, ma'am? That feels more right to me. Okay. That feels more right because there's something like the diagnosis isn't right. So thank you for speaking to me. But that definitely nobody else put their hand up. What can you take? Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. Um, Mr. Bowman said that there was a doctor that said that he was going to be okay. My husband was misdiagnosed. He had cancer from when he was 17 to 59. And did not like doctors. Okay. And then begged me to keep him home rather than to go back to the hospital. Do you have Florida connections somehow? No. Do you have Florida? Where's your Florida connection? The doctor kind of like away The doctor ran away to Florida? Mm -hmm. Just you stay there, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> 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 you understand the Florida thing? I just want to this because it's definitely. Why did the doctor run away to Florida? When my father was. By the time my father agreed to get a second opinion, okay. he already had like there would be a bust to it. Okay. So and what about the two family house they were showing me before? I, I was on the brink of getting married. Okay. As we all went back to Okay, because there's connections here with the two family house. Yes. I don't know why your dad's thanking you. I don't know if you want to take care of your mom or if you're like the rule in the family. But there is a thank you to you that I do need to bring. But there's also an apology to you, I have to say. So I don't know if there were times you felt your dad wasn't there for you or if he traveled quite a bit, but there's almost an apology for something he wished he had done. And they do the He's still apologizing. So, 
Yeah, let me just see what this is for. What did he leave on your hands or your plate that you had to take care of? Is your mom still alive? Okay. Um, I just feel there's a responsibility there, so I do need to say that to you. So I need to thank you for everything you do for your father. I know there's a tremendous amount of love, and I know he certainly did not want to go, and I know the doctor's heart did a bad job. So, and I don't know who Joseph is or Joseph is, but I want to Jay and show that he's strong as well. Okay. You would understand that? Just take the love from your father and a lot of gratitude. But I think in the family, or in general, people come to you for help. So they end up leading us. And you're very strong in that way. So your father's just trying to find the community confidence. So you take that from your dad. So I just got to go back there real briefly. Um, so, um, <coughs> Just at the end, did they either move him back and forth between some place? Why do I seem to be going back and forth to either um, back and forth for treatment? Treatment would work for me. As long as you understand back and forth for treatment, I have to say. But is there a point where he says no more? Because there's a point where I'm putting my foot down, and that's a tough place I have to say <coughs> yes, but it's like I don't want any more treatment. Are you connected there? Is that daughter? Okay. I don't know why he wants to congratulate you for some reason. So I don't know if you get married or have a baby come. Which one? I'm getting married and I'm graduating as a doctor in August. Oh. <laughs> Please know he's there. 